Hi, my love. Welcome to my channel. I'm Jess of Bahati Life. Thank you so much for tuning in and spending your time with me right now. So at the time of me filming, we are having a huge coronavirus meltdown all over the globe. Because of the work that I do and because of the person that it is that I am and my reputation, I have a lot of people coming to me and asking me the same kind of question, just what's going on? What can we expect? What can we do? Now, this is not only in my work as an astrologer or my work as an intuitive, this is also my personal life because those who are closest to me in my personal life know that I am quick to provide a solution and an explanation for what's going on in our external world and also in their intimate, more private lives. That's what I'm known for. And that's something that it is that I wanted to talk to you guys about. All right, so let's talk about the coronavirus. So at the time of me filming this video, there's a lot going on with the coronavirus. But if we break this down, which is the purpose and the point of this video, um, if you break it down, the coronavirus or this infection or this thing that is manifesting itself as a problem is not the actual problem. There's a bigger problem. There's been a bigger problem for quite some time. And basically what this is, is energy, right? So, and also in my belief, divine timing, this divine plan of how things are, and how the universe wants to restore balance and make things right, not just for one group or one population or a small chunk of people, but for all of us. And when the universe, when the divine sees this imbalance is there, it does all that it can in order to restore order to its greatest capacity. Now, this potential, this world that it, it sees for us, right now at this point in time, we're not there yet. However, divine timing and these cycles kind of move in order to move us all to this greater, higher potential of what the universe, what God, the higher power sees for all of us. It's trying to restore this ultimate balance, which means that everything and everyone is equal. It's healthy. It's vibrant. It's thriving. When it sees dysfunction, when it sees that certain areas of our lives is dysfunctional, it does everything in its power in order to make it functional, in order to make it right. Now, what happens is that our world as we know it, it functions in one way, but is it truly functioning? Is it truly healthy? And the universe's answer at this point is no, it's not healthy. No, it's not thriving. Now, we can look at the coronavirus and say that, okay, I thought we were just talking about the virus. You know, there's this infection and we're doing all, of, all that we can in our power in order to protect this population that is most um, vulnerable to it. In this case, it's the elderly population or people with um, compromised immune systems, etc., etc. However, if you take a step back and look at the bigger picture, which is what the universe and what divine is always doing, if you take a, a step back and look at the bigger picture, you'll see that the coronavirus is only an irritant to a greater and bigger irritation and a greater and bigger problem. For example, why is it that when there's um, a problem or when there's something is happening, let's say there's some type of natural disaster or there's a, a, an event that creates, that challenges us. Why is it that we struggle as a community to band together? Why is it that certain mouths get fed and others are left wanting? And and, and then also there's this greater problem that I've been seeing within the astrology chart that has been in the works for years trying to play itself, trying to restore itself. This idea that what impacts one over there will not impact us over here. The universe... And the divine says that this is one globe, this is one planet that it is that we're living on. And none of us are disconnected from the other. We're all connected. The divine says that I've created each of you guys equally and I want you to see that. And I want you to hear each other as a brother, as a sister, as a, as a partner, as a unit, because we are all on this planet together. If, if one person is struggling, if one person isn't healthy, if one person isn't having their needs met, their mouths, their mouths being fed, then the rest of us suffer from that. And that's a truth that we've been having a hard time adjusting because there's been this excess force of greed 
there's been this um, us against them mentality or that's their problem, that's not our problem. And this is something that I had the, this vision years ago, like years, years ago. I wanna say four years ago, four or five years ago, I had this vision that says, listen, how the planet is working right now, it's, it's there to restore the balance, it's or to, in order to maintain order meaning like natural order, meaning that nothing should be left behind, nothing will be left in dysfunction. The universe, the divine, and the planet is going to do all that it can in its power in order to make things natural and right. And that means that there's this new life that it is that we're going to be experiencing, this new way, this new normal. Now, when our normal life gets challenged, this is when people start panicking because they're like, wait a minute, what's going to happen? I have to do all that I can in order to, to grip on to this, to this society, to the way that it is that I've known it. When the reality is, is that the way that you've known it has been dysfunctional for almost, well, all of our entire lives that, that most of us know it to be. If it wasn't the universe and our politics and our government and our people and our planet wouldn't be doing everything in its power in order to make things right and equal for all of us. Now, this is happening on a global level with our planet trying to restore itself and to make itself healthier. This is happening also in our politics and our government, not only in each individual government, but as how each government and each um, political party or politi political perspective is learning how to see this greater picture and to work together as a whole unit to really link arms hand in hand and we're going to get there we're not there yet i believe and i have faith that we will get there because i believe in the power of love and and people wanting to come together and i believe in what the divine can do and what the divine is doing that's my personal belief throughout time throughout history we watch as certain powers kind of rise up and that challenge that opposition is the is the main thing that sparks a change that sparks a revelation that makes things and moves things for the better in a way that is healthier and thriving for everyone and i believe that it's the coronavirus i can see it throughout the entire chart the astrology chart it's the coronavirus is just an irritant of a greater a greater problem in that's it that is working right now in order to fix itself so again like I was saying that sometimes when we see our normal way of life getting challenged or we see things freezing up we can't comprehend that all of it is, is being made for the better we can't comprehend that this new normal could actually be better for us, but that is exactly what it is that is happening. One thing that it is that I'm seeing is when people are pushed into a space of fear, they have nothing to really fall on but their faith. This is not only faith in a higher power, but to each their own with that belief system, but faith in them, within themselves. They are stepping into a space where they're like, listen, I wanna be more self-sufficient, I don't want to rely on the handouts of a higher party or a, a third party to provide for me. I want to be able to provide for myself. And it's things like the coronavirus that put it all into perspective and says, listen, instead of um, sedating yourself, instead of numbing yourself and pretending that you're happy and pretending that this is healthy and right and good and that you're thriving, we want you to see it. We want you to observe it and fix it and make it better. And the only way that you can fix it is if you're uncomfortable first. And when you're uncomfortable, people have to adjust themselves in order to make themselves uncomfortable. That's when you see the problem and then all of a sudden you're focused on creating the solution. Now, remember I was saying at the beginning of the video that we're working with energy right now. So energy, it, it doesn't really confine itself or contain itself to any one thing it will find the way that it best fits in order to express itself and that could be government that could be health care it could be you pursuing your your heart's desires it could be a relationship it could be your health it, it energy just finds all the ways that it can in order to express itself in the way that it fits and that's what it is that we're seeing now is that energy expresses itself in this outbreak it can be explained astrologically, but I don't want to hyper-focus on astrology right now because not everyone who's going to watch this video is going to believe it. That's just my personal beliefs. So take that and throw it out if that doesn't apply to you. If that doesn't make sense, if that doesn't resonate, 
ball it up and throw it out and just keep your mind open. I want to keep this video as open as possible so that it serves more people than, um, you know, kind of pushes certain belief systems and certain people out or excludes them. I want everybody to be included in this video. But for me personally, I believe in astrology. But essentially what it is that I'm saying with astrology is there's like a divine timing, a, a divine order to certain things. And that's what it is that we're seeing is that the universe, God, the higher power, whoever, cycles will find a a way to express itself in order to repair in order to restore and that's what that's what's happening right now and like i was saying is that when people are uncomfortable when people are being um challenged they can sometimes panic and have fear first because what they've rooted themselves in has been a fallacy. It's been fake. It's been a structure that has never really been strong and solid to begin with. So when we plant ourselves in this fake structure and that ground starts to break underneath us, we start to panic. Well, some people start to panic. However, if you really ground yourself and center yourself and root yourself into the, the divine source into this all loving energy and ground yourself and root yourself in inner peace you will actually get this sense that honestly you have nothing to be afraid of that what is breaking away underneath us never really was solid and could never really support the magnitude the greatness of who we are and where it is that we're going not only individually but as a whole as a planet our planet has been has been struggling for a minute by things that it is that we have done to it generations before us have done to it and it's in these moments now that our planet says you know what fix this see that the see that the earth is polluted see that the earth is groaning out in pain make it right make it better the same thing is happening with unification with us against them mentality that has been an issue for generations and it says listen their problem is our problem your problem is my problem if you're concerned i'm concerned let's fix it and make it better none of us are separate our skin tones may be different or may vary our our body shape might be different depending on our background our roots our perspective of things might be different our outlook might be different our desires might be different but it doesn't take away from the, what makes you unique and what makes you special and the value that it is that you hold and the, and the gifts that it is that you'll bring to this earth. Each one of us brings gifts. Each one of us has holds value. And we have to embrace every single one of us. And that's what's happening, triggered absolutely, absolutely by the coronavirus. And it's not just going to be the coronavirus. It's going to be moving forward into the future. There are going to be other things. Other energy will express itself in other ways that says, listen... Look at this, observe it, fix it, make it better. See the value in this. Hold each other for who you are and also hold yourself accountable and hold each other accountable. And let's make, let's do better. Let's make a better change. Instead of being stricken by this and panicked by this and paralyzed by this, you root yourself in this new system, this new way of moving from faith, of moving from peace and moving from, from love, from this higher vibration. And as, an, as a whole, as a collective, we just pull ourselves up. We, we come together. And not only is it a global coming together, but there's aspects of yourself, of you, your own healing, your own life that have been fractured for a while, maybe your entire life. Those aspects of you, those broken aspects of you are coming together and you're giving yourself a chance. You're moving now from a more vulnerable space you've experienced panic you've experienced dysfunction you've experienced trials and tribulations and all of it you see how it has served you for the better and how it only added to your purpose your destiny and because you were rooted on this um fractured ground this I, this sense of structure, stability, a foundation that never supported you because you see that it's fake and that it's not strong and that it, 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 it wasn't meant for you to stand on that to begin with, then you say, well, what is it? What is it that I can count on? What is it that will provide for me and stable stability? What, what, what is it that will give me structure? What is it and who is it that I can count on? And how can I count on myself? How can I pull from my own strength? Instead of pulling from panic, I want to pull from peace. I want to pull from love. Now,
There are going to be people who are not there yet. They're, they will catch up. I believe that they will catch up. I feel as though the people who will resist it the most will struggle the most. We don't want to see this as a struggle. When we struggle, that's because we're fighting against it. We want to embrace this and be effortless with this and realize that there are going to be aspects of ourselves that are going to be vulnerable, that are going to get triggered. And when we see that, Instead of running from it and pretending like it like it doesn't exist, we have to see it, we have to observe it, we have to hold on to it and say, you know what, this is a part of who I am, this is a part of my journey, this is a part of what makes me me, this is the part that I struggle with, this is something that makes me weak. What is it that makes you strong? And that communication, that expression, that vulnerability will only help you to link arms with another person who's Weakness is, is their strength and your strength is their weakness and you just build each other up step by step by step. So that's something that we're going to be seeing now in this new wave, this new world, that this idea of, okay, who, what can we count on? We're putting it under a magnifying glass and we're changing it for the better. So instead of looking at it and, and being like, oh, I'm going to have panic, realize that everybody is kind of observing this from almost the same way that says, okay, this might be making me really uncomfortable, but I have to do better. I have to be more efficient. The universe was not created and the divine did not create a, a world of lack. This world is actually full of abundance. If we have healthy respect of it and of ourselves and of each other, but the problem is, is that for generations, we have not had that, that space of respect. There's been a lot of greed. There's been a lot of imbalance. And that's why we're in this space right now where the universe divine and divine timing is doing all that it can in order to make it right. This does not mean that seeing someone prosperous and abundant means that they were greedy or that they should have guilt for their abundance. It's to say that you have to find your way and there have to be the resources provided for you so that you can have abundance, so that no one is in a space of lack. No one should be suffering. It is human imbalance that created the dysfunction and the crippled effect that is that we've been experiencing for quite some time. And all of that will be restored. Everyone will be looked at after. And that's, that's why the coronavirus is happening, you guys. So instead of getting triggered by it and being panicked by it and feeling powerless, realize that this is actually opening the door for incredible positive change. One thing that I keep getting asked is just when is it going to end? And without triggering anyone, I want to say that it's not going to end. And the reality is that you don't want it to end. The, the reason why I say this is that this change is just folding over into this new world, this new wave that's only going to open up doors and solutions to problems that we've been experiencing for it, all of what it is that we've known and all of what it is that we've experienced. So we don't even want it to change because what we want is new structure, new stability, new abundance, new blessing, new health, new vitality, new mindset, new perspective. Instead of being like, well, when are we going to go back to normal? Do you really want to go back to, to the old normal? Because did the old normal, did it even serve us? It's this new normal, this this chance, this opportunity to, to create your own abundance, to create your own blessing, to step into this, I don't want to say isolation, but this observation through isolation of who you are, what you want, and your limitless potential that you wouldn't have seen if you didn't take the time out to look for it. Does that make sense? Because even when we're in this like quarantine isolated space, it's an opportunity to ask yourself the bigger question. Who am I? What do I want? What do I see for myself? Instead of numbing ourselves, instead of succumbing to this will do. No, it won't. No, it won't. You're settling when you settle for less. And the universe, the divine, divine timing says that there's so much out there for us. There's so much that we can attain to and strive to be. And in order for you to see it, we have to irritate you and challenge you so that you can move towards it. 
Instead of losing hope and feeling powerless, we want you to see your power and stop rooting yourself in this false sense of security and numbing yourself in this idea that you are safe and secure and that you're comfortable and that you're thriving when the reality is is that you haven't for a minute. If you were and if we were as a society, we wouldn't be doing all of these things in order to numb ourselves. We wouldn't be workaholics. We wouldn't be abusing drugs, overly using medication to prescription drugs in order to numb ourselves from feeling really real feelings, to trick ourselves into being like, this is okay, to diminish our creative spark, to diminish our innovative thinking, diminish our brilliance in order to dim our shine. That's what we are walking out of. It's things like the coronavirus that create the irritation to help us to see that, you know what, this society has not been functioning for a minute. And it is good and right and even divine and holy that we are wanting more and evolving right now in the way that it is that we are. It's better to have a sense of hope and optimism. And it's not blind. It's just true. It's this this light, this beam of light that we're all striving towards, that we're all moving towards. When we get irritated and when we get challenged, the goal is, and what my intention is, and what the universe sees for us is to, instead of looking at it and feeling panic and having fear, which has crippled us since day one, feeling like we're not enough, feeling like we're powerless, feeling like we don't have a voice, feeling like our dreams are invalid, being afraid of being vulnerable and being afraid of being who we are, being afraid of realizing that we do in fact need each other and that it does feel good to have each other than to do it all alone and to do it isolated and feeling abandoned and not having hope. We're moving into this new fertile role. That's the message that it is that I wanna to give to you guys. I want you to maintain hope to learn from what has happened in the past. I want you to learn from what is happening in the present. And I want you to get inspired for where it is taking us in our future. This is not just global, although that is absolutely happening, but this is also in your personal life. Just like we wanna globally give ourselves a chance, you have to personally and intimately wanna give yourself a chance for things that like desires and passions and feelings that you've been feeling in your heart, in your gut, in your intuition for quite some time, okay? So when you see this shift happening, when you see this change, don't fall back and give up because you weren't gonna do that anyways. The human spirit is one of the most resilient things out there. And our brains, when we are allowed to use our imagination, we can think of infinite, infinite possibilities, infinite ideas, infinite, oh my God, like just everything our brains can, can create and to fathom. And when given the opportunity, we can create oh, an entire new world. We can think out totally outside of the box, but we just needed the freedom to be able to do that. And that's what's happening here now. All right. So I hope that this message gives you peace. I hope that it reminds you of how strong you are. If you felt powerless in the past, in the near past, or even in the present, I'm setting the intention that this video, it resonates as truth for you deep within your spirit and that you are reminded of who you are, that you are reminded of where you're going. You're reminded of this timetable, of this divine timing that's almost like clockwork. It says tick, 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 ding, now's the time. And you said, you know what? I've been feeling this for, for, for a minute. That's why I've been suffering so much. That's why the suffering has been so real because it's unavoidable. And if I didn't suffer in the way that it was, or if we didn't suffer in the way that we were, then it wouldn't be this like unavoidable truth that healing needed to occur. And it begins now. So I send you all of my love. Thank you so much for tuning into this video. Thank you so much for taking your time, which ultimately at the end of the day, time is all that we have time and love. So thank you for your time. Thank you for your love. And I'll see you in my next video. Bye.